time I'm filming this. In Final Cut Pro, if you move the original footage, that can pretty much corrupt whatever the hell you're editing. Lesson learned there, don't try and make space while you're video editing and accidentally delete the original file that you're video editing because then you end up here filming for the third time. This is gonna be a haul video, I haven't done a haul in a while. By the way, in case a lot of you are wondering, I do have a plaster on my finger. I had a little bit of an accident. Jess versus the sugar container, sugar container lid in the morning equals this. We won't get into that story right now, but in case you were wondering, I've pretty much got a gash, AKA that slang for cut near my fingernail and there's a flap of skin hanging off. It's not the prettiest of things. So there is a little plaster here. My finger's fine. It'll be all right. It's just in the healing process. I'm just trying not to think about it. I got all this stuff from Blue Banana. I'll link their site in the down bar as well as all of the items in this video. They've got hair dye, t-shirts, shoes. They've got a variety of awesome stuff on there. It's more of an alternative type of store, but I love it so much. I'm going to start with the item that's in the wash because it's not here and I have a funny feeling that I'll forget about it completely if I don't start with it. So the first item that I picked was a Rage Against the Machine shirt. Now I love Rage Against the Machine. That's no secret. Tom Morello is one of my favourite guitarist who's right up there with John Frusciante and Johnny Cash and I know that sounds very contrasting all three of them mentioned in the same sentence but I love all those guitarists for different reasons they all bring something different to the table for me personally and I love Tom Morello I think he's an absolute genius he's just he's amazing on the guitar I fucking love him my two favorite Rage albums are the self-titled album and the Battle of Los Angeles so the next thing I picked was a Johnny Cash t-shirt, surprise, surprise. Funnily enough, I haven't got a John Frusciante t-shirt, but I really, really, really want one. I need to do something about that. Don't know why I'm cuddling the t-shirt, but... And I love it so much because it's just a picture of Johnny Cash not giving a fuck, raising his middle finger up like, you know, screw you, screw you all. I love this image because it's just how I like to remember Johnny Cash, not giving a fuck, speaking his mind, standing up for what he believed in, and I absolutely love him so much as a musician. To list a few songs off the top of my head, Solitary Man, I absolutely love that song so, so, so much. I love the guitar in the intro, and I love the meaning behind the entire song. Field of Diamonds, I love that song so much. I played that to Athena when she was in my belly and I used the belly buds which I did a review on on my YouTube channel somewhere but I love Field of Diamonds because every single time I hear it it reminds me of Athena and her being in my belly and when I listen to it it's almost as if she's inside me again and she's kicking me and I know that sounds really creepy but if you're a mum you'll kind of understand that you sort of kind of want to shove them back up there slightly. I know it sounds weird. I don't mean physically, but if you could get them back in there, you know, just for the day or so, like the day or so, just for a little bit to kind of feel her kicking again and just to kind of, you know, appreciate. Oh, I appreciated her when she was inside me, don't get me wrong, but oh, I just miss feeling her little kicks and stuff like that, but I can't be broody. Bloody hell, I can't be broody, can I? That would be really backwards. Am I broody? I hope I'm not broody. Okay, moving back to Johnny Cash, because now I'm scaring myself. But... <laughs> Yeah, I won't back down. Love that song so, so, so much. That is my strength song. Whenever I need some kind of inner strength, I go and I listen to, I won't back down. Whenever I need to feel empowered in myself, I tend to gravitate towards finding that song and pulling it out and giving it a good old listen. I don't think there's a Johnny Cash song that I can't appreciate. It was about time I got a t-shirt with this absolute legend on that is Johnny Cash and I love him so much. And I'm gonna scrump the t-shirt up and throw it over there because I don't give no fucks and I won't back down, yeah. I'm gonna have to pick that up because I'm not a teenager filming this video. I'm the adult of this house. So any mess I make, I've gotta clean it up. Note to self, what the fuck, there's nobody in my house. Oh my God, I can't believe I've caught that on camera. That's so strange. Okay, so my window isn't open and the door was fully closed. The camera can keep going because I don't want to die and loads of weird things have happened in this house at the moment. So I'm going to leave the camera rolling and I'm going to go and double check to make sure. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Hello? 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 I'm just trying to film an innocent YouTube video. This one's only a haul. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Why does weird shit always happen when I try and film a video these days? Okay, I'm back. I don't find anybody. <laughs> and a moth has come to keep me company. The moth is dancing towards the ring light. There's nobody in the house apart from me tonight. It's pretty creepy being here on my own, to be honest. Pretty creepy indeed. Everything's locked up. I'm okay. Way. <laughs> 
Moving back onto the haul I was trying to film, the next thing I got was Stone Roses t-shirt and I couldn't help myself because I've always wanted a Stone Roses t-shirt. I love Stone Roses so much. Typically I love Stone Roses. I'm from Manchester. I love them. Fool's gold. I am the resurrection. I want to be adored. I remember actually listening to Stone Roses on my CD player. That's how old I am. I've sort of always fancied like Youngy and Brown as well. Like I don't know about you guys. Any of you fancy him? Anybody? Not now necessarily, but back then I think he was a little bit of a hottie. Anybody else share that unpopular opinion? Because I've never met anybody else that finds young Ian Brown as attractive as I do. It's a little bit bizarre, but there's something about a young Ian Brown. But yeah, I love the Stone Roses. I guess it's sort of in my blood because I'm from Manchester. I love Joy Division. I love New Order. And I bring this up every single time I mention New Order, but I'll never get over. One of the best nights in my entire life was having dinner with New Order. Every single time I listen to New Order now or Joy Division, I just get this ultimate fangirling because I love Joy Division and New Order. And I was lucky I even got to eat Chinese with Bernard Sumner, to be honest. It was, just, it was such a surreal experience. I don't even know how I got onto this subject, but I was just speaking about Manchester bands, really. Ever since moving to this area, I found out all kinds of stuff about the area that I live in. Some good, some bad, but moving along from that. Something that my friend told me, and I googled it to double check that he wasn't bullshitting me, but <laughs> as random as this sounds, Sean Ryder from Happy Mondays literally lived around the corner from where I live now, and that blows my mind. <laughs> I actually think that's pretty cool, to be honest. I love my Manchester music scene, both old school and new, because there's so many talented musicians in Manchester, guys, like seriously, like, I don't know if you live locally or whatever, because I know a lot of you live in the USA and everywhere apart from near me, apparently. <laughs> like, even some of my closest friends live nowhere near me. Pretty sad that isn't it? Like, before filming this video, I was speaking to Shona on WhatsApp and she lives in Ireland. A lot of you guys will know her as Ellie Jaden here on YouTube. If you haven't checked out channel, you should probably check it out, by the way. A little shameless plug here. I swear to God, like, every three videos, I mention Shona at some point. Check out her videos, by the way, because she's so cool and awesome and laid back. And I love her. I love her. And this is when you find out I'm wearing pyjama bottoms. I'm wearing a normal top, but I'm wearing pyjama bottoms. Don't kill me. It's the rules of YouTube. We all do it. We all do it. The next thing I got was these beautiful, 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 and I want to say, beautiful. I also love the fact that they come with yellow laces, like, seriously. When I saw that they sold Dot Martens on the Blue Banana site, I was like, I'm getting some of those. If you're after the kind of retro looking Dot Martens, they've got patterns on them, by the way. They've got them on Blue Banana for an actual decent price, like, I actually think that the prices on the Blue Banana site were so much better than the shoe website. Like, no offence, shoe. I'm not slagging you off in this video, but I guess I sort of am in a way, but I don't mean to. But I found the Dot Martens to be so much more reasonably priced on the Blue Banana site than the actual shoe website, which is where I normally get any Converse or Dot Martens that I buy. And I say that like I buy Converse and Dot Martens on a regular basis, but I don't, but when I do, I usually tend to go to shoe. For a lot of you Dot Martin lovers out there, definitely check out the Blue Banana site. They've got some really, really, really cool shoes on there. They've even got new rocks. Pick the purple ones, mainly because I was stuck between these and the green ones. And I was tempted to go for the patterned ones that I saw, but because they were a little bit more expensive, I decided to opt for the cheaper shoe and get a few more bits and bobs from the site instead. So I don't think I'll ever go back on this statement, but I genuinely, 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 genuinely believe that Dart Martins are some of the best shoes that you can get. The weatherproof, I can wear Dot Martins in summer, I can wear them in winter, autumn, pretty much any season. Dot Martins never fail me. I pretty much never take my Dot Martins off these days. I feel like Dot Martins last and Converse eventually do fall apart. I know we hate to admit it, me and you that love Converse so much more, we're sticking up for Converse all the time. You know, when your friends are like, Converse just fall apart all the time. And you're like, no they don't. In the long run, getting yourself a pair of Dot Martin boots literally will do your feet some good because it's made my feet feel a lot better as well. Breaking in Dot Martins is the worst thing in the world. But then afterwards, it's just like you've got this relationship, you know what I mean? It's like you're married to your shoe and you never want to take your shoe off because it's been there for you, it's a friend, it's there for you, it's raining. You know, don't get those feet wet. The shoe won't let you get your feet wet. Not this shoe. Converse will be like, fuck your feet, fuck them. But Dot Martins, pff, Dot Martins are there for you. Dot Martins have got your back. Dot Martins are your friend. <laughs> so moving on to the next thing that I got, I got a Nirvana mug. They've literally got everything on that website. Shoes, t-shirts, mugs. It's such a good quality mug as well. Print is good quality and it's not just gonna get faded. It looks like official merchandise, to be honest. It says 2011 Nirvana, produced by Rockoff. I won't go on a ramble about Nirvana because I'll be here all day. They've also got makeup and hair dye on the site as well. Literally, they've got everything, apart from couches and beds and fridges and stuff like that. So I've never tried Manic Panic makeup before. 
and they had the Vampire's Veil pressed powder and I got mine in Moonlight and I've already used a decent amount of it so far. I've already hit pan on this because I've been using it that much. I'm not actually wearing it right now but I usually am. Such a silky smooth consistency and it deposits a little bit of colour but nothing too extreme. And I got this in Moonlight because it seemed like the most accurate shade for my skin. And so far, so good. Like, I'd love to try some more of the Manic Panic products now, to be honest. I didn't actually know that this specific powder existed until I was on the website browsing the makeup that they had on there. And I'm so, so glad that I picked this up. I definitely, definitely want to get this again because if anything, it's quite easily and quite quickly become my favorite powder. One thing to watch out for with this powder is if you cake it on too much, it will start to cake because it has got a slight pigment to it and a little bit of coverage. I feel like this could be used as a foundation, to be honest. A little bit of concealer underneath on your problem areas and then whack this on and you could even use it as a little bit of a powder foundation. But I like to use it on top of a very light foundation. I feel like that's the best combination with this, but I really, really like it. The next thing I got was Pondo the Panda. When it wants to look you can decapitate the panda and you have a usb stick how cool is that this site has everything what did i tell you i love pandas i love pandas so much if you've been here for a while you'll know how much i love pandas fucking love pandas the only thing i'm sad about is the fact i have to remove his head from his body in order to you know use him that's what she said wow these that's what she said jokes definitely taking a whole entire new level and approach i think we're getting a little bit sadistic here jess we've long american horror story shit but yeah it's so quirky but i also like how squidgy it is and the weight of it because it's not just like a flimsy usb stick that you can lose the bulkier something is the better for me that's what she said okay we're just digging a hole now jess we're just just digging a hole. Next thing I got with these sunglasses. Self-explanatory. Should we do the rest of the haul? So I thought I would save the best item to last. Emergency blanket. Did you see that coming? Why not? I feel like that guy out of Better Call Saul with my little emergency blanket now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm proper happy about it. I should probably take these sunglasses off, but they're actually protecting my eyes from the ring light, which is nice. Can you imagine if I just went to sleep at night? Like, like, maybe I should sack off my duvet and my throws and just use this from now on, maybe. That is a good idea. What would make this cooler? Fruit shoot. <laughs> so what are you doing? on your Saturday night, guys, even though it's not gonna be Saturday when you see this. Who knows, maybe it will be Saturday when you see this. I don't know what day this is going up. What I can tell you though is I'm living a hardcore life here with my aluminium foil. Is it even aluminium foil? You're jealous of this life I lead with my emergency blanket and my fruit shoot. While all of the people out there are enjoying their Saturday night, I'm stuck in here wearing sunglasses with an emergency blanket. And fruit shoot, bitches be jealous, yo. Let me know what your favorite item in this haul was. I think that mine may be the emergency blanket because I'm impressed with the heat this is giving off. I'm really comfortable and I may go to sleep like this, to be honest. It's gonna be a little bit annoying trying to make it as small as it was though and as compact because I'm not gonna lie, it took me a while to unravel this. <laughs> All of the items will be linked in the down bar as usual. Let me know what your favorite item was and until next time, off I go. I may film every video in this blanket from now on because I'm not even joking, but I actually feel 10 times more comfortable right now in this blanket. Every video after this is gonna be me in an emergency blanket. I blame you, Blue Banana. <laughs> go to Blue Banana's site and get yourself one of these. We'll probably need it soon. My country just left the EU, so I might go and buy myself 10 more emergency blankets because I'm probably going to need it. Bye!